This is David Miller from Data Color, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to turn off color management in the Epson R800 printer driver. You'll need to do this every time you print a target sheet as the first step in building a printer profile. So let's begin. We have Spider 3 print running already, and for our example, we're going to print the 225 patch color target, which is the most commonly used color target. So we will click on the print target button down here and the R800 driver dialog comes up. This is the standard OS 10 printer dialog for the R800. The first thing we need to do is pick the correct printer to actually make the print on. In a system like mine where you have multiple printers hooked up, we have to select the correct one. So this is the direct USB connection to my Epson R800. And now underneath, in the pop-up in the middle of the dialog, we need to go to the two settings, the two sections that we're concerned with. Print settings and color management, and change some of the settings in each one of those. So we'll start with print settings right here. Okay, the dialog resizes and it gets larger. Now, Inside of print settings, there are a few things that we're going to need to change, depending on what kind of paper we're going to be printing on and building a profile for. The first is media type, and this is where you select the kind of paper that you'll be printing on. If I click in the pop-up here, we can see a list of all the papers that are supported on the R800. And for our example, we will just pick premium glossy photo paper, which is very commonly used. Underneath we have a pop-up that says that lets you select whether you're going to be printing with color inks or black and white. And naturally we'll print with color. Underneath there's a pair of radio buttons that let you check that let you select the print mode. If you select the print simpler print mode, which is automatic, you basically lose most of your control over what happens with the rest of the print process and you only have a choice between quality and speed. Uh, this is a very simple quick choice and we're not going to use that. Instead we will use the advanced mode settings by clicking on this radio button here. And now we have a pop-up that lets us select the actual print quality. And we have three choices in this pop-up photo, best photo, and photo RPM, which is the highest resolution mode. And so we'll choose photo RPM for the highest print quality. Underneath that, there's a checkbox that lets you select high speed on or off. If you turn it off, then the R800 will only print in one direction on the paper. So basically, it will take twice as long to make the print. But in some cases, you'll get higher quality prints using this mode. So we'll leave that turned off. Finally, on the bottom, there's a pop-up for something known as Gloss Optimizer. If you're printing on glossy paper, generally you should leave this turned on, on the R800. Leaving Gloss Optimizer turned on means that for white areas of the paper, the printer will lay down something special called Gloss Optimizer that evens out what's known as the gloss differential on the paper. When you're printing on glossy paper on an R800, Gloss differential means that when there are white areas of the paper which don't have any ink printed on them, if you look at the print from the side with a light reflecting off of it, you can see differences in the appearance of gloss on the paper. When you're using gloss optimizer in the Epson R800 driver, then something extra gets put down on the paper there to even this out so that you get the appearance of a uniformly glossy surface. If you'll be doing your prints, on glossy paper using gloss optimizer then you should print the target the same way. Finally we go back to the pop-up in the middle of the dialog and we switch over to the color management section. This is an essential part of what we need to do to print the target. In the color management section we have three choices for the kind of color management that gets applied when the print is being made and we need to choose off no color adjustment like that. Once we've made that choice, profiles and color calibration are not applied by the Epson driver during printing 
and we'll get a nice dark saturated target print that represents the full range of all the colors that the printer is capable of producing. This is what we'll use later on after the target print has dried to take measurements and to build a printer profile.